there's, there's no sense in becoming rich because problems don't make you rich. Solutions do. So. <laughs> what was the other one? Um, poor people blame others for their misfortunes. It's nobody's fault that you're successful. The only person you can blame is yourself. Nobody's responsible for you. And that's what I love about the business that I'm in because I pre-qualify people before I actually say, okay, let's work together. Because first I need to find out, are you serious about being different? Are you serious about coming out of the box, doing what everybody else does? Is it getting you anywhere? And if you want out, come holla at a sister. Now, we can't keep bringing old habits into new things. And there's some things that we have to let go, and there's some things that we have to put in perspective. You can agree or disagree. But a lot of that stuff got to do with some things that we won't let go. So, I can't, I just can't spend, spend, spend anymore. There's a budget in place. There should be a budget for school clothes. There is a budget for cell phones. There's a budget for utility bills, rent, all that kind of stuff. And I think that needs to be taken care of before anything else. My son, no. When he come in, ain't no TV. You get straight to your home. You change your clothes. You do your homework. You read 20 minutes for the day. That's an hour right there of getting education instead of getting entertained by the dumb people on TV. It's, to, it's used to dumb you down. It is not used to make you smart. So, you know, slowly, gradually start, you know, less and less TV I watch, the more smarter I became, the more results I began to see because I wasn't watching TV. And when I did watch TV, I watched it critically and seeing what it was doing to my mind. And a lot of times I would get up off that couch after watching TV being stuffed. And I'm so tired and worn out by all the negativity. I just go to sleep. I haven't learned anything. I haven't done anything. I just look around and... But then when I'm not, you know, presenting myself, you know, at my job or my work performance is off, that's because I'm not getting proper sleep. I'm up all night watching TV. And I'm on Facebook. I'm flipping through this and that. What are we looking for? You know, why I've entertained myself so much. I don't need no more. You know, I want to be on the side where the people are actually getting checks to perform. I'm tired of watching everybody else get rich. How good I hate you. That realization, you know what I'm saying? Please, no phone calls. Please, no texting. Please, no messenger. Not right now. Thank you. So, you know, the three things that we need to acquire, three things that you can do with your money is this here. Acquire things, accomplish goals and dreams, and three, contribute to causes and people in need. Because money is not for pleasure, money is for purpose. When you bless others, that's how you begin, you become blessed. You don't become blessed by fat pocketing it, keeping it all to yourself, and say all oh, well to people. And then when something happens, you want everybody to get together. It doesn't work that way. If you're consistently doing these habits over time, you're going to be so accustomed to it, you're not going to want to step out of it. Just like watching TV, you have to replace TV with something else, like pick up a book and read it. Replace products on sale by investing in something at the end of the year. You can write it off in your taxes. You know, and then blaming others for your misfortunes, the decisions you make, we grown men and women, it's time to take responsibility for ourselves. And if we don't, it doesn't matter who we're around. If we're not carrying our own example, then how are we supposed to survive? And so, yeah. Um, 